I wanted to add this little bit in to the next level masterclass because at the end of this masterclass, you want to make sure that you stay till the end. You want to stay till the end. I'm announcing really, really big things that are a little bit time sensitive. So make sure you stay till the end for some really, really big announcements. Hello, everyone. Oh my God. I'm so excited and nervous and all the things at the same time. This is so, so big and so, so powerful. Welcome to the next level masterclass. This masterclass is about a lot of things and it is, we'll get into it in just a second, but basically welcome. Hi, <clears throat> my voice cut out there. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Uh, and if you are here and we know each other and you would like to say hello, please do in the chat if you are watching the replay of this. Uh, hi, hopefully this is just as powerful for you. If you do watch the replay of this, then uh, make sure to feel free to let me know how it went for you and your feedback and all of that. So. I recognize a lot of you in here and I recognize a lot of you that signed up. We had a lot of people sign up uh, just based off of the name alone. So I believe that everybody that signed up for this, everybody here is a match to this frequency in some degree, in some way, shape or form. You're here for a reason and you may figure out why tonight. So Basically, also, if you would like to keep the party going after this, uh, make sure to join us in the Quantum She Facebook group, which is my free Facebook group for anybody and everybody that wants to be a part of my inner circle here uh, and where we can kind of talk about things that we went over tonight, where we can kind of go over and, and keep the discussion going and where you can share some of the homework I'm going to give you at the end of this uh, that is going to help you. So. Anyways, this is where we are going to start. This is the moment where everything can change for you. Literally everything. So I really want you guys to be open. I want you guys to absorb this as much as possible because this is a powerful, powerful, powerful discussion. And I'm like over here shaking, just <laughs> thinking about it because it's just so powerful. And it's also a powerful discussion where everything changes for me. And I will be talking a little bit more about that at the end. It's literally like I'm stepping into my next level with this masterclass. And so this is kind of like, <laughs> this is kind of like a symbol for me, so to say. So I want the vibe and the energy uh, of this masterclass to be about transformation, transformation in a split second information that can happen in a split second where something hits you or you feel all of a sudden like everything is possible and you kind of step into that energy where you align to the next level for you because it's no longer about time it's no longer about what you think you're lacking it's no longer about the past it's no longer about you know what you think you need to get somewhere all you need is you and it really comes down to that you know because for so long we think that for so much of the time, we think that we need X or we need Y to get X to get Y. And that is just not the way that things work, especially energetically. And so that is part of kind of the discussion that we're going to have tonight. This is a high level conversation that you may need to come back to like a few times to completely understand. It may hit you now. It may hit you a week from now. It may hit you a month from now. It may hit you a year from now because we are talking about high level things like things that took me a very long time to integrate and understand into my own being, into my own life. So it's okay if some of it does not all the way make sense because we are out of the realm of logic here. Like this is not about logic. This is not about any of that. This is about energetics. This is about energy. So I'm going to tell you some things that some people charge thousands for and that I also invested a lot of money for to learn and to uh, learn further about and also things that took me months, years, like even longer to integrate. So that's why I say this may be something that you need to come back to a few times to fully understand because it's not like I can sit here and tell you these things all day long, but implementing them, integrating them, coming back to them is what really fucking matters. Like that is what counts the most because you can sit here and listen, but some of it can go right over your head because you're not in that frequency to fully like grasp it where it fully hits you just yet. So, and that's fine. You know, we're all at different stages of our journey and, and all that stuff. So <clears throat> 
these are the kinds of things though that you need to like download into your being if that makes sense like it, it it can take a little bit and that's you know totally fine too but i want you to leave here like my goal for you is to leave here and actually choose something that aligns with your highest potential that aligns with what you actually want for your life that that leaves you ready like i want this this master class to leave you ready to jump into your next level to jump into the next level version of you and all that is possible because there are times in life where we're kind of tapped out of the energy and all we really see is what's not possible all we really look at is the destruction of it all or or the failure of it all or the the darkness of it all and we're not really tapped into what we could actually do are like our fullest potential basically right and your potential lies within you right like we always think that our potential is elsewhere we think we have to go do something or go be something or go like you know take some kind of action or achieve something to step into our potential and that is just not the case at all like your potential lies within you so when you can tap into that that is when you start expanding that is when you start doing next level shit because you're stepping into that next level version of you and all that is possible so tonight we're going to be kind of talking about this we're going to be talking about quantum manifestation we're going to be talking about abundance we're going to be talking about time energy the the whole nine yards and like i said this is like a very high level discussion and like i said it, it it's taken me a while to really integrate a lot of these things so if you don't all the way if it doesn't all make sense right off the bat that's fine like you can come back to it as many times as you want i am recording this so there will be a replay so a while back when i kind of stumbled into this quantum this quantum field like this quantum manifestation journey I had to start looking at my life very differently, like my whole life, not just today, not just the past. Like I had to start looking at things from a very high level. I had to start zooming out. I had to start looking at the grand, the, the, the grand scheme of things, which, you know, for, for a long time, it was a very narrow point of view. It was like right here, over here, you know, the past, we get so kind of bogged down by the past and what could possibly happen that we live so much and the possible failures of what could happen rather than the possible successes, right? Like we're always setting ourselves up for safety, safety, safety. If I can just be safe, if I can just hold back, if I can just contract, like then maybe this won't happen instead of actually putting our energy towards what we want to create. Right. And, you know, many people do this where they focus on all the wrong things. They focus on all the things that are lacking in the world or in their life or whatever, instead of what they actually want to create. Because if there's lack, that means there's a gap. So that means there's something, there's space, there's room to build in. There's space, there's room to create in. So hopefully this is, is making sense to you guys so far. But basically, get back on track here, Tani. <laughs> so I had to start looking at things from like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what did I want to look back on in this moment and be grateful for? What did I want to look back on and feel about what I was doing right now? I had to start looking at my life outside of the limits of time, outside of the limits of time and, you know, right here, right now, like, yes, there's a place and time for right here, right now, that can be very important. But I also had to start looking at my life in a bigger context. And I had to start looking at things from what do I want to look back on about what I'm doing right now and actually like be proud of? What do I want to look back on about right here, right now and feel? And am I doing things that I'm going to look back on and feel good about, right? And so, when I started thinking differently like this, when I started looking at things like this, miraculous things began to happen. Like I started plugging into this concept, this different type of manifestation, and I started making different decisions and I started being different and I started acting different and I started doing different things that started like fast tracking results in my life. And then I also invested like a ton of money to learn more about it and to learn about what I was even experiencing. And so I then started realizing that there were like literal portals, 
like portals that closed the gap, <laughs> that closed gaps in time, that fast tracked me to like quantum leap, which is like basically you are leaping ahead at like rapid speed and outside of the the logic of time. And so I would have like these fast tracked manifestations, like these fast tracked things were happening to me that were just like out of this world. And so this is quantum manifestation. I had to basically become the highest version of me before it was shown to me, before I even knew what she looked like or what she did or whatever. And I'm still becoming her more and more and more and more because more and more and more is always revealed, right? So the vision always changes. The vision becomes bigger and bigger and more detailed and I can see it better. But before it was just an inkling. It was just, you know what? I'm ready for more. And that was enough for me at the time. And then I started making decisions and choices that aligned with that, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So I had to, to become, I had to be, I had to start being her. I had to set the stage and I had to clear away what was no longer aligned with me. I had to do the work within myself to let go of the baggage that was wearing me down. It's like a balloon that has a bunch of weights tied to it, right? Like the more weights that you release from that balloon, the more it can fly, the more it can expand, the more it can grow, the, the lighter it gets, right? And so that's what it felt like. It was like I was releasing all of these different weights off myself that were holding me back. And the more weights I lost, the flyer, the, the higher that I would fly. So I started stepping into these next level versions of me, like me that was more, me that does more, the me that can, the me that is connected to the divine, the me that's grateful, the me that's powerful, the me that I had no idea existed within me, <laughs> you know, like the me that had higher standards for my life and myself, the me that, that desired more for my life, the me that knew I was meant for more, the me that knew that I was meant for big things, right? So as I started stepping into this, this next level version of me, I started experiencing more in my life as this would happen. So it's like my, my dreams got bigger. My desires got bigger. I was experiencing miracles, like people that I had had, you know, conflicts with that I thought like, there's no way that we would ever resolve them. Like all of a sudden they're resolved and it's fine. People that I would have a hard time, like defending myself against all of a sudden like it's fine it's just washed away like tons of just miraculous people getting put in into my path that were on the same level as me that I could relate to that that literally understood what I was talking about and were super supportive like I ended up you know manifesting just tons of different things that were happening and all I could see were the possibilities and that was insane for me because even in other times in my life, I would see some of the possibilities and then there would be, you know, other things that would begin to block them. And I couldn't see the possibilities as much anymore. So it was like, everything just opened up for me. And I'm going to go over a little bit more of, of how I, how I did that. But it was like, I just kept expanding and expanding and expanding and things started happening like really, really fast. I was quantum leaping. What I thought would take me months or years to do was taking me a week or a day or a month. Like I had my first five figure month, uh, over $10,000 in a fucking month. <laughs> uh, this year I was manifesting like literal miracles. And it's still to this day, like I had my, my first like 1000 over $1,000 day last week, like things like this are just insane. And it, it used to take me a lot longer to get to those things. So I was like closing gaps, right? And that's what I mean by that closing gaps. Like I started becoming the creator of my reality. There were, there were just things happening that I couldn't explain that my mind was just like, how did that happen so fast? And, and I, I wasn't even recognizing myself from just the week before, you know, like things were happening that fucking quick. So on top of that though, because there's polarity in life, there were also edges that I had to lean into. There were moments and situations that, that seriously tested me. There were a lot of fears that I had to face. There were a lot of things that I had to do that, that were difficult. There were a lot of things that really, really tested me. And there will always be, you know, there will always be, but those were the weights that I had to let go of right? Those were the weights that I had to leave behind to be able to expand into my next level, to be able to go even further. 
So with that, though, with those things, they were portals that I had to move through. They were things that I had to do that were very difficult, but I learned. I learned and I learned and I learned and I learned each, each thing taught me a little bit more about how to fast track manifestation and how to live a life that, that I love, how to live a life that feels totally in alignment with who I am, the highest version of myself. So, and also how to live outside of time, how to live a life of miracles, both big and small, how to live, how to live a life of abundance, how to attract money, how to feel safe, no matter what is going on. <laughs> right. Because that's a big one. So I'm becoming the source version of me more and more every day. And I don't think this journey will ever be over in this life because I love it so much. And I feel like it would be bored if it did, if it was over, but I would look back at a week before and not just even recognize myself. Like I said, I mean, I was, I was leaping that quickly. There were times where I was just like, like I would write a post or something from the week before, but not post it. And then I would go to look back on it to possibly post it. And I'd be like, I don't even resonate with that anymore. <laughs> right. So the next level is a quantum leap. The next level is a quantum leap, a leap where I'm closing another gap. I'm completing and moving into another timeline and moving into the next portal. And I'd love to take you on this journey with me. If this feels like a match for you, if this feels like a pull for you in your body, if it feels aligned, if you relate to any of this, then I would love to have you. I upgraded. I upgraded massively. Like I upgraded every area of my life, including myself. And I'm still upgrading because there's always more upgrading, like I said, but I am becoming someone that me a year ago, me a few months ago, me, you know, 10 years ago would look at now and be like, holy fucking shit. Right? Like, how did you do that? Like it, it's, I am becoming something that again, outside of the realm of time that I want to look back and be proud on, not just from the future me, but also from the past me. And when we start thinking about things this way, outside of that, those limits of time, things become very, very different. And you no longer are thinking about time in the same way. It really just does not happen. I've had literal downloads from my future self. I've talked to my past self. Like it, it's crazy. Like you, you start having experiences that the mind cannot grasp or understand because we are so like time is linear is so conditioned within us, but it really fucking isn't. So too often we give up on our dreams, not because we couldn't achieve them or that we can't achieve them, but because we saw one possible one tiny little hint of failure. And we were like, nope, I'm turning the car around. <laughs> or we saw one possible hint of it not working out the exact way that it, we expected it to work out. And so we back off, right? We hit some turbulence and we turn the whole damn plane around. We're like, oh, too much. Can't handle that. But can you? Can you? Could you? Right? If we're, if we're driving on a road, and you've never been to some place, like you're, you're driving to some place that you know is like miles down the road, you've never been there, and you get a flat tire halfway there, we don't go, oh, well, I guess I'm not almost there anymore, right? No. <laughs> like we patch up the tire, we fix the issue, and we keep fucking going, right? Or we call AAA or whatever, and we keep fucking going and do what needs to be done because we know that it's there. But a lot of the times when we are trying to follow our dreams or desires or what we think is possible for us, when we're trying to step into our next level potential, we go, oh, well, this isn't working. So I'm still not there yet. And I can't see the destination from here. So it must not be there at all because I can't see it. <laughs> right? Like that's what we do because we can't see it. We go, oh, it's not there. It's not happening. And we back off. So it's there. You just can't see it yet from your vantage point. You can't see that maybe that flat tire that you got that slowed you down for 
30 minutes or whatever, where you had to kind of take a detour or, or slow down or whatever, that that or you can't see the reason for that yet from your vantage point. And you can't also see your destination just yet from your vantage point. It doesn't mean it's not there or that it's not going to happen. Right? So we make things mean so much more than they do. We make the, we make it mean, oh, I, I failed. I got halfway there and I got the flat tire, right? But we do this with our dreams, right? Like we finally decide we're gonna go for, we're gonna, we're gonna start our own business because that's what we wanna do. And after a week where something doesn't work out, we can't figure out how to create a website. We can't figure something out or whatever, or someone tells us no, we go into, oh, okay. I guess I can't achieve my dream then. And that is not the case. It doesn't mean that your dream is not achievable. It means that your mind is too narrow in trying to keep you safe. We choose to fail ourselves in the present, to, to fail ourselves right here, right now, to avoid it in the future. Because it doesn't happen quick enough and we're hung up on time. We think it has to happen now. Yet at the same time, we put our dreams and our desires off all the time because we think we have all the time. We're not worried about time when we're constantly saying, one day I'll do that, tomorrow I'll do that, next year is gonna be my year. We're not worried about time when we do that, but as soon as we start going after our dreams, as soon as we start going after the things that we desire, as soon as we start going after the things that we want, we put a time limit on it. If it doesn't happen by this time, or if something goes wrong, then this means X. And so we fail ourselves before we can face it, before we can. So just in case, just in case, because, oh my God, that would hurt if I got all the way there and it didn't work out. But we don't consider all of the things that we've learned along the way. We don't consider all the things that we've learned by the end of it that may lead to something else. Yes, maybe it didn't work out, but now you have all these things that now lead you somewhere else that you wouldn't have been led if you didn't go through that, right? So we put our dreams off constantly because they don't happen quick enough. Or we see one sign of turbulence and we, we turn the car around, but maybe that turbulence is going to help you because you can't take whatever whatever is shaking at the time with you to the next level, right? Maybe that tire couldn't go because if you would have gotten there and got a flat tire, maybe AAA didn't go, go all the way out there. So really you were just dropping weights off your balloon so you could fly higher. I'm glad this was resonating for you guys. And hello, everybody that said hello. <laughs> Sorry, got like, just jumped straight into it. Just was already in the vibe. So things don't happen quick enough in the realm of time when we're in that concept of time, right? And it's funny because, you know, we do that. We're like, oh, it didn't happen quick enough. So I'm turning the car around, but we are eternal beings. Like we are literal eternal fucking beings <laughs> and we are worried about time. If your dreams are measurable, they're not big enough. If your dreams are measurable, they are not big enough. Because time is not the issue, it's a concept, it's a measurement. Your dreams are not measurable. Your dreams are not measurable. So what does this mean? This means that you have to want it, you have to believe in it so bad, so much, that it doesn't matter, that the flat tire doesn't matter, that the turbulence doesn't matter, that it's just a step in your journey because your dreams outweigh any of that. You can't measure your dreams. You can't put a measurement on your dreams and time is literally a measurement. So time is not the fucking issue. Like I said, we have no problem putting it off. We have no problem putting things off, but as soon as we get into going after what we want, then it's like, oh, it's not happening quick. So that means it's not gonna happen. No, you just can't see it yet from your vantage point. 
So this means that we have to bet high on ourselves, like so high that we have to like bet on ourselves so high because when you go after your dreams, if your bet on yourself is not high enough, if your dreams are not, not big enough, if your dreams don't mean that much to you, then yes, you will turn around the car. I can't do this or I'm too afraid of feeling failure because failure after all is a feeling. It's just a feeling. So this is the line in the sand where you can choose to keep focusing on your past. You can choose to keep focusing on whatever, <laughs> what, what you're trying to protect yourself from in the future instead of what you want. Again, if we're focusing on what's wrong or the lack that we are trying to protect ourselves from experiencing in the future, then we're focused on lack at the end of the day. And lack breeds more lack. And so everything we're doing to protect ourselves from a possible future thing is out of lack. So we are acting out of lack. We're, free, we're fearful, we're in lack, and we're protecting ourselves from future lack that may or may not be there, <laughs> right? That may not happen. So you have to bet high on yourself. And you, you, know, you can choose what you focus on. You can choose to keep focusing on the past or not. You can choose to continue to focus on what went wrong or what you're scared of and all the things, or you can choose to step into the void of creation that is available to you. Because if there's lack, then there's, there's space. And that is going to take you into a literal vortex, a literal portal of your next level. So this is the next level. <laughs> The, the, the chance for you to go all in on yourself, to, to truly see yourself in your dream life and to see your vision and make the decision now that aligns you there. And the vision can change or become more clear or shift. That's fine. It happens, right? You can change as well. But within you is a higher version of you your God self, your source self. You are a walking God. And this power is so deep within you. It is at the core of who you are. So when you begin to align with that power within, anything and everything is possible and you begin to become the architect of your life. Now, this isn't about perfection. This isn't about perfection. We're still human. You know, it happens, things happen. We are here to experience being human. And I personally think that not all people are, are meant to awaken. That's not what they came here to experience. But the ones that are, those are who I'm speaking to, the ones that resonate, the ones that, that feel that they are aligning with something bigger than themselves, that feel that they are meant for more, that feel that they are here to do big things, that feel like they are here to walk an awakened path. So we can do literally anything. We can be whoever we want and have whatever life we want. When it comes down to it, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. It's like if you were up in the clouds just watching humankind and you see these humans and to you, because you're far away, you don't know them. You're not there. You're not personally involved with them. But you see them just walking around, living their lives, or really not living their lives, you know, maybe just going to work, miserable, doing the same thing over and over, stuck in that kind of like robotic state of just like, you know, whatever, <laughs> blah. And you're up in the sky just watching them and you're like, well, why are they doing this? And, and let's say you can start reading their minds and their heart's desires and you feel that they have the desire to go rock climbing out in the, out in the mountains and they, they don't because, well, I gotta work, I gotta pay bills, this is my life. And we're gonna get to a little bit more of that in a second, but Thank you, Skylar. This is hitting my soul. I'm getting emotional. It resonates. Yay. I was getting emotional a little bit ago too, so I get it. Um, so the only thing holding you back from what you want are the stories that you tell yourself about not being able to achieve it, basically, right? 
the only thing that holds you back when you get in the car and turn around is the story that you told yourself of, oh, it's not happening. I failed already. Or, oh, I should just tap out before I get there. And then it's not what I expected or wanted or whatever, right? It's all about the stories that we tell ourselves. So really let that sink in. It is not about if you can or cannot achieve it. It's really not. This is why we see two different people come from a similar background. One, one does not achieve what they want in life and is miserable. And the other one achieves what they want in life and is like, people are like, how did you do that? You know, we think, oh, it's just a, just a success story, overnight success or whatever. We make excuses because it's easier to stay safe in what we know, even if we're, we're miserable, than to jump into the unknown of possibility where we could like have everything that we wanted to fill that gap with creation rather than more lack, right? It's kind of like, you know, I was, I, I mentioned this last week. Um, I think it was, yeah, last week <laughs> uh, in my Cancer New Moon video and I made a post about it on Facebook. It's like, you know, when it comes to focusing on your worldviews or whatever, you know what I mean? If we continuously focus on the things that are wrong in the world, the things that are lacking in the world, then that's all we're going to see, right? And so, but with the lack, there's space. So guess what? If things are lacking, there's space to create. If, there, if, you, if you are focused on all the people that are mean in the world, you're going to constantly see mean people. But if you focus on creating a kind person within yourself and being kind to those mean people, you start creating kind people. So it's all about the stories that we are telling ourselves though. We think it's about our circumstances. It's, it's, this, it's, you know, it's our circumstances. It's not your circumstances. It's the story that you've made up about your circumstances. I can't because of this. No, it's not because of that. I can't because of this. If it's something outside of you, it's not because of that. So we blame, you know, all of these different things outside of us. So, but really it's the beliefs, it's the conditioning, it's, you know, our family, society, et cetera, what they have told us is possible because it's realistic and it's safe. So when we begin to step outside of these stories and beliefs of what we think is possible, what we think we can achieve, then everything becomes possible, right? Because you are so much more powerful than your circumstances. And I know those, <laughs> I know those of you here in uh, goddess mode uh, know this, but you are more powerful than your circumstances. So if you're letting your circumstances dictate why you can't do something, you're saying that your circumstances are more powerful than you. Right. And that's just not true. That is not true. They're your decisions to stay in those circumstances. And it's the story that you've made up to keep yourself stuck and safe, even if that means you're unhappy. So I want you to imagine for a moment that you grew up poor, right? You were taught you have to work hard in life to get what you want. You had to struggle to get what you want. You, you know, like money is hard to come by, yada, yada, yada. And so you go throughout your life, throughout your life with this, with this mentality, this like lack scarcity mindset, struggling to make it by with money because it's what you were taught to believe that you had to do. So then, you know, how is it that others that grew up also poor or with financial stress that were taught similar things end up becoming successful? I don't think it's because they carried those stories and beliefs from childhood, because if they did, then they wouldn't have allowed the success to happen in the first place, right? So do you think they gave up on, on doing anything outside of the, the realm of their beliefs? I don't think they did. I haven't seen anybody that, that necessarily uh, proves me wrong, but I don't think they did. I think they, they, they had a bigger vision. They had bigger dreams. 
that meant more to them than those stories. They saw the possibilities instead of the lack, right? So the only thing that holds you back are your stories about what's possible and what's not possible. And that keeps you safe because then you fail yourself again before you can fail later. So you're safe, but you're unhappy. And there are some people that are completely just content where they're at and they don't yearn for something more. They don't desire more. Like they're just completely satisfied where they're at, where they're at in life. And that's fine. But you know, I'm not necessarily, um, this is not for you. <laughs> that's you, right? Like you may relate to some of this, but it, this isn't for you. This is for the people that, that desire more. And it's okay to desire more. Like it, I, I truly personally, personally believe that desire is source energy. It's our soul giving us like, you know, Hey, this is, this is the path that I would like to go down. And desire is very, very fucking powerful. And they're there for a reason, right? So we are all capable of so much, like so fucking much. The only reason that we don't proceed with all of those things, with our desires, with our callings, with our dreams, et cetera, is because of our stories and our minds. If we believe that it won't work, then we won't. If we believe that we can't, then we won't. And if we try, but we still believe that we can't and our dream is we don't believe in our dream enough, then the first little sign of turbulence or it not happening quickly we're, we're like, we're already looking for reasons to like back out before we've even started. But right now, like this moment right now, this week right now, this month right now, this, even this year right now is one tiny little blip compared to your whole life. It is one tiny little blip. Like, are you going to remember in a year from now, the thing that you were pissed about today? Probably not. Are you going to remember in 10 years from now, the, the bad week that you had this week? Probably not. The thing that's bothering you so fucking much lately or right now, is it going to be a huge fucking deal to you in 20 years from now? Are you going to look back at your life and be like, oh, I remember that one week, man, that I was so pissed off. Everyone kept pissing me off. Everything was going wrong. No one did the dishes. You know, <laughs> like we let all this little stuff like build up and make it into all this stuff. And we're not even gonna look back and remember it, right? And that's how a lot of people live their life. That's how I lived my life for a very long time. Under the fear, the frustration, the doubt. And, and I started looking at my life through the lens of, you know, if I'm, if I'm on my deathbed, what do I want to look back and, and really remember? Like really fucking remember. I don't want to look back on my deathbed and been like, I cared too fucking much about what people thought that I didn't go after my dreams. I don't want to look back on my deathbed and be like, I, I wish so badly I would have did this, but I didn't. I let other people's opinions dictate my own. I let other, other stupid things that I really didn't care about, like at the end of the day, like be so, so much bigger than what I really wanted. So if it's not going to matter, like in the grand scheme of things, you know, then why let it have so much power right now, right? And yeah, there are things that, that need to happen that we need to work through. And I'm not necessarily discounting that. I'm talking about living frequently in fear, frustration, you know, doubt, holding ourselves back all the time if this is a pattern that you're stuck in, you know? So the first step to all of this that I have really learned with manifestation is believing that you can, believing that you can, because if you don't, you're either not going to try it or you're going to be very hypervigilant 
for failure. You're going to be literally pinpointing failure where it's not just so you can hurry up and turn back around. It, or it just won't even be in the realm of possibility to you. So the first step is believing that you can and believing that like that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. And that's so important. Like so fucking important. So <clears throat> the next step is making the decision, not an intention. I've said this before, but intention for a long time when I would get into like, you know, back in the day when I would be really into like spells and yada, 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 like people would say intention. And I would be like, what does that mean? I don't understand. Like, I know what the definition is. It's like to intend something, right? But like, I couldn't grasp it. It felt very slippery, right? And so I didn't know what I was doing with that word, you know, like it, it just, I couldn't feel it and I needed to feel it and I just wasn't feeling it. And so then one day it hit me a few years back that it's that anytime I've manifested anything in my life, it wasn't out of intention. It was out of a decision. <laughs> like I decided that this is happening before it happened, right? Like, I don't know what, how, whatever, but it's fucking happening, right? And so the next step is making that that like that decision and being all on board though. Like, yeah, there may be things that come up a little bit later where there's some doubts or fears or whatever. That's not what I mean. I mean, being all on board in that you believe in yourself, boom, first step, you make a decision, boom, second step aligned. You're making, you're creating alignment to what you manifest, what you wanna manifest, right? So the next step is making that decision an aligned decision, a decision that aligns with your belief, believing that you can and whatever it is, believing in whatever it is. And this is a fucking game changer. When you do this, you've already done so fucking much. <laughs> like, and any time that I quantum leaped in my life, it started with these two things. The internal world, boom, believing that I could. I have, like, I, I see it, I believe it, boom. I believe that I can. Okay. Two, the aligned decision, making that decision that aligns with believing that I can. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this is like the key. This is how I got into all of this. Actually, this was the start of this, this particular journey, right? Like I, I had, a, I, I was like, I, I meant for more than this. I'm not living up to my potential. And I realized it, like it just kind of hit me one day. And I was like, I'm, I'm ready for more. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for more. And I believed that I could, like, I, I knew that I could, I felt it. I felt it in my body so strongly. And I was like, okay, this is happening decision. And I made the decision that it was going to happen. And that is how I've like skyrocketed in so many areas of my life with these two first things. And then the next step. The third step is solidifying that decision. How do you solidify it? You compound it. You compound it with an action. And this also, this step can also involve like a leap of faith because you're taking, you're actually doing something, right? So you make that decision, right? Before you're sure you know, you can still be a little bit wobbly when you make that decision. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know. Like the how is not for you to figure out, right? So that's not where you're at yet. So you're just, you're still in kind of like the internal phase. Thank you, Joni. I appreciate that. Yours has been amazing to watch too, my love, <laughs> but I appreciate that. Um, sorry, I tried to fix something really quick. Okay. So... <clears throat> solidifying that decision, which also can involve like a leap of faith, like I said. So you make that decision at times before you're sure if you're even ready all the way, but it's aligned, you feel it, boom, you compound it with an aligned action. So this action needs to symbolize what it is that you're going for. This action needs to symbolize 
what it is that you're wanting to manifest. So it needs to fall in line with this high, like this, this next level version of you, right? So, and that's, that compounds it even more because you're, you're literally like at this point, you have an aligned portal of energy open. Now there's so much more to this that we'll discuss briefly in a minute, but like, but this is, these are like the beginning fucking steps that are like crucial to have. Cause if you don't have this, then it's like, you have no foundation. And when things get rocky, it's like you, the, the underneath of the car is not there. And you're like, oh, <laughs> you know, and you're, you're falling out of the car. So, but the action needs to align with what you're, what you're leaping towards. Right. So for me, you know, for examples, for me, this looked like investing in myself big time. So my future mentors that embodied the energy that I wanted to calibrate to or stay in, investing in who I was becoming, not who I was just, but who I'm becoming. Like anything I did, again, the time thing, I wasn't thinking about me right now. I'm thinking about me by the end of this thing that I'm doing, right? Like, and, and going into that before I'm even there, right? So I would embody those things. I would, I would invest in those things and invest in who I was becoming in the highest version of me, the next level version of me. So everything was about where I was going and I was making, turning, like shifting right now into that person, if that makes sense. So I was shifting my life in so many ways right here, right now, by taking aligned action to change into that person. It's still me, but it's me after these experiences right? And that literally ties it all together. So anyway, time does not exist. <laughs> I made decisions that would align me with her and it worked fucking rapidly, like quickly. I invested the money before I even knew if I had the money. I, I compounded even more by investing in myself with doing inner work, dropping dead weights that I knew were, were holding me back or were keeping me stagnant or confining me, keeping myself around people that embody this next level version of me or that this next level version of me was on the same wavelength with, right? Calibrating to different things in my life and being in the energy of those that expanded me, taking action that aligned with the original belief. And things were just happening very, very fastly. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So that's the third step. Those are the three steps I wanted to go over. But whatever you are investing your energy in, your focus, your money, et cetera, right now is what will expand. So if you are investing your focus on what you don't have, you're gonna see everything in lack, like I said, right? You're gonna see everything that you don't have and expand more of what you don't have. If you're investing your energy on fear, you're going to see more fear and you're going to feel more in fear. If you're investing your money on learning, you're going to expand your learning. If you're investing your energy on your dreams and can hold that vision, you will see your dreams. So the next level involves doing something you haven't done before. You have to embody it, take aligned action on it. Like right now, right now where you're at is a, in a past reality of your life. Because everything that's around you right now is, it is manifested from a past version of you. So the reality that you're in right now is a culmination of who you've been and what you've manifested up until this point. So this is why step one, the inner work of, of believing with like believing in yourself that you can is so important. Even if it's not all the way clear yet. I was not that clear at all, but I still, I felt it. I believed it. I freaking made the decision, boom like rocket ship. So then compounding that with actions that align, then you're in alignment with where you're going. So hopefully that all makes sense. So we think that we want certain things, but can we even hold them if we get them? Are we actually ready for them? And that this is where the aligned action can come in because it's towards what you want, but it's also making space. It's also you know, doing the work to possibly let some things go or to, you know, to do the rearranging that aligns you with this next version of you. 
So manifesting miracles does not happen via logical action, right? Doesn't take logic to manifest miracles. It may, it may think, you may think that like, you know, and, and this is the thing when we really get into manifestation, it's very like, you can't always see. And so, and that's why we give up, right? Because we're in the car, we're halfway there, but we can't see from where we're at. So we're like, oh, this isn't working. So there's times where you have to like really, really lean back into that, the, those initial first steps, because like being able to hold that in between places, it can get difficult at times. And we start resorting to logic because that's what's safe. So we start resorting to what we can see in our past experience because that's what we know and that's what's safe. So we resort to logic, but miracles don't happen in the realm of logic. Logic cannot understand them. So when we, when we are in the realm of logic, we're, we're closing ourselves off to being open to have literally anything happen. <clears throat> and so we end up, and this is also why we hold ourselves back. This is also why we don't go after our dreams because we can't see how it's going to happen. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe in them. So we're just like, eh, not gonna go for it. It's safer not to. So it really involves a lot of trusting and jumping before your mind even has a chance to tell you if you're ready or not. It's like complete trust in your inner knowing. So it's a lot of jumping into the void <laughs> based on the aligned energy within you that you're, comp that you're compounding with your belief, decision, action, energy. That's like all energy just compounding. And so, you know, it, and it just, it like spirals and just creates this like energetic thread and not allowing your, your circumstances, your current circumstances to, to basically become the thing that kind of deters you from your alignment or, or your path, because it, there will be times where it may, <laughs> a lot of the times it will. So, so now we are going to get to uh, the few last things here. And then I am going, I forgot to mention this in the beginning. Um, I meant to, but I completely forgot because I just jumped in. But so we're going to go over the few last things here. And then I am going to get into my next few programs that are launching. Uh, I have two launching this month and one launching in August. So I'm just letting anybody know that wants to stay and see what they're about. Uh, or, you know, if people don't want to, that's fine too. So, uh, hold on, reading your guys' comments really quick. You're welcome, Janessa. Coming to this place now after doing Goddess Snow. So grateful for you. Oh, thank you, Anya. I am so happy to fucking hear that, dude. I am so fucking happy. That is amazing. I am just like, it's been, it's been a wild journey in Goddess mode. Uh, so, and I'm just really freaking honored to, to have been able to be a part of that and just watch so many women come into their own, but thank you for that, Anya. I really, really appreciate it. And you're one of them, <laughs> obviously, but so, so the last few things I want to say really quick, uh, and then we're going to get, I have some homework for you for these, for this class. So we have to stop bullshitting ourselves. We have to get really honest with ourselves. Failure is not an option because it does not even exist. Like failure is just wisdom. <laughs> it's an experience that teaches us something. And, you know, we have over a lifetime to learn from that experience and refine it a thousand different ways. So we have to stop with the whole failure thing, right? Like, because it's not real. And so it's the stories that we tell ourselves, right? Like this also goes into it because it's like, oh, I'm going to tell myself that I failed at this thing when really I didn't. I just, I just turned the car around very early because I got scared right? So that, that's what I'm talking about here. So we have to stop with the excuses. We have to stop with blaming our circumstances because your circumstances and your excuses are not more fucking powerful than you are. Again, like you are more powerful than your circumstances and your excuses. You dictate 
a lot of your circumstances, right? Like you dictate the job that you work at. You dictate where you live. You dictate who you date. You dictate who comes around you. You have the power over a lot of these things. Yes, there are some things that you're powerless over, like how somebody else treats you or how somebody else acts towards you, but you have the power to not be around that if you choose not to, right? So you you are more powerful than a lot of the things that you're allowing to, to be the thing that you blame for why you can't do something, right? So I feel like many of you know deep down on some level that you were meant for big things, that you were meant for more, that you were, that you desire more, that you have dreams you still want to fulfill. And that's why we're here. So this is the moment that can change everything. Your power is always in the now. You can't find your power back in the past, right? It's not, it doesn't exist. Now is the only time that exists. But when we start thinking differently about time, we realize that right now is definitely where the power is at because right now, what you do right now ripples into the future. So this is so important because what we do right now can set us on the trajectory to our next quantum leap into the next level version of us, into the next thing that we that we desire, into our dreams, into our, our potential, all of the things. So you step into your next level by doing so right now. It, it takes a solid, solid belief that you can, a solid decision and a solid choice that are all in alignment. So they're all pointing towards the same place, right? So this is what I want you to do um, after this masterclass. You can answer these by journaling about them. You can post them in the Quantum She Facebook group. You can post your answers. Feel free uh, to, I mean, the group is for interacting. So I post a lot in there, but everybody's free to post in there. And I'd love to keep the conversation going. And if you'd like to share also, uh, your experience from this masterclass, whether in the Facebook group or on social media and tag me, that would be amazing. And I would really, really appreciate if any of you did do that. So the homework for the next level is the first question. What is the next level for you? So what is the next level version of you? Like what what do you feel if you don't have like a solid vision yet or like a lot of details like what does it feel like like what feels like the, the the higher version of you what feels like the next level version of you number two what beliefs slash stories are holding you back and i'm going to post this um i'm going to post this in the in the group chat, but also in the Facebook group uh, with the replay when this is done. So here are the, the questions, posting them in the chat now. That is amazing, bros. <laughs> See, that's exactly how things work. Things are, things get really aligned. So, uh, so yeah, so number two, what belief stories are holding you back? Number three, if they were no longer there, if all was possible, what would you be doing without limitation? So what would you be doing? What would you be tapping into, et cetera, without limitation? Number four, what do you believe deep down that you're capable of doing? Uh, I'm sorry, that you're capable of that you're not doing. And that's basically the belief. Number five, make the decision right now that you can, the decision, and then number six, take the aligned action. And you can share, if you do these things, if you do these three steps, you can share about your experiences in the Quantum She Facebook group. So before we, I'm gonna kind of give you some segue here as we go into the next programs which are like just out of this fucking world. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking excited, like, holy shit. Okay, so there is a feminine way to everything. And by that, I don't mean, you know, feminine is an energy, right? There's feminine and masculine energy. 
We all have it within us, whether you're a male or female. Uh, so, but when it comes to energy in particular, and this is so important for manifestation, there is a feminine way <laughs> to everything, to life itself, to the keys to everything that has long been forgotten. So I was surprised when I realized that the whole other side of the, the yang life that I had been living for so long, like I, I was just in shock that I, there was this whole other way that I like wasn't aware of. There was like a flow to everything. Just everything was like a flow to different things that I wanted to manifest, to different things that I, I you know, was, was, was manifesting, like anything in my life, relationships, my job, like manifestation, money, everything, there was a flow to. And if I could get on that flow, things would be divine. Like divine things would happen. It was like a flow of divine magic and, and harmonization. And I kept thinking, like, how did I miss out on this? Like, how is no one speaking out on this? You know, like, and, and eventually though, like I did start finding different people that, that were, and I was surprised, but this kind of leads into the whole classic, like why feminine energy is unseen or mysterious, et cetera. Like the, the traits that are linked with the feminine, because we make it so vast and big, but the truth is, is that it's really, it's not as vast and mysterious to find. And so it's actually rather simple. It's just the mind doesn't completely understand it or wrap its head around it, which is where the vast and mysteriousness comes in. So, but once I fully found all the pieces, it all began to click, like everything begins to click. So once you fully understand the pieces to feminine energetics, it all begins to fucking click. So a total sinking with the universe happens, like a total reset on how you thought things were, how you were looking at things. And it takes a while to fully integrate into your being because again, it seems backwards and the mind wants to stick to what it's used to by trusting only in logic and what we've been told. But something happens when you step out of this old way of living and viewing the world. It's like you, like I said, it's like a flow, like a harmonization with, with everything and an alignment with everything the universe, co-creation, the, the true living of life, like an awakening to all that you are and all that you can do instead of what you were taught you could do, basically. So this awakening to feminine energetics literally leads to everything. Feminine energy is literally the key to everything. Go figure, again, because for so long it's been, it, it's looked at as vast and mysterious and it just happens to be hidden, but it's, it's the key to everything. So there's a feminine frequency that's awakening in so many right now. It's like a, a new time, a new era. Like it's, it's insane. So the reason that I'm talking about this is because the next programs that I'm doing are about somewhat, somewhat about this. So I will kind of give you, I will kind of show you so you understand. So Okay, <laughs> can't believe I like finally publicly introdu or introducing this, but so the first program is money codes. So this is where I basically am going into all of the downloads, all of the codes, all of the things that I've learned about money manifestation, the things that brought me to a five figure month that have been consistently, you know, giving like not giving, but the things that the things that have consistently brought money manifestation, abundance manifestation, like things like that into my life, because it really is a frequency. And I've gotten really, really fucking good at tapping into this. Like, and I've gotten a lot, a lot of tasks with it too. Like, so I feel like I'm at a point where I'm like ready to share what I've learned so far. Now, this is a shorter program. It is uh, basically like a two week long program starts in July, July 17th, I believe, but it's on this page. So I'll tell you, I'll check on that in just a second. So, but this is about cracking open to the energetics of wealth, abundance, money, and flow where, and also feminine energy and pleasure, like using feminine energy to attract money, because that is so much different <laughs> than what we've been taught money is about and how to get money. And so it's, it's very interesting Feminine energy goes into money so much, and I'm going to explain why that is in this program, but this is basically the feminine way to 
manifesting money. So yeah, so this is about the energetics of money and everything that I've learned uh, for money. Uh, money is sexy, money is a frequency that flows and money is not what you think. And when you understand money in this new way, like everything changes and it just, it's so awesome. So yeah, we're gonna be going like, this is like a transformation on how you will view money, but also how to attract money and manifest money. And there's also like a seductive, pleasurable vibe with this as well, uh, because yeah, that, that goes into it. There's like, like when, when you know how to manifest money and the, the pleasure that goes into that. So the, it really goes into sexuality somewhat. It doesn't always, but it does at times, like money is very seductive. And so when you start understanding money in this different way, it becomes so different. Like, and it, and you live differently because you're not as worried about it because you're not in the masculine way of money. And what a lot of people bitch about with money, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but what a lot of people bitch about with money, you know, is the masculine way of viewing money, the masculine way of thinking about money, because they've had experiences um, that have been, they've had experiences, stories, beliefs, conditioning that has been kind of articulated in that way of masculinity with money. So anyways, we start July 17th, there will be four live, uh, four live modules, and also some bonus transmissions and an alignment ritual for manifesting money. So, so you get some bonuses too. It's not just the four modules, but right now it's $288. It will likely go up to 333 before at some point. I'm not sure when yet, just at some point. So I'm just letting you know, but um, before we start at some point. So it's $288. Um, this is my short program, uh, two weeks, like I said. So the next program, um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's not just for um, women either, like men can, do, men can do the money program. So the next program is manifest her. So it's like not manifesting her as in like a, a, a chick, you know, like it's manifest her as in manifest her, but manifest her, right? So, um, but this is, this is her. She starts in August and I'm so excited for this one. This is quantum manifestation. So a lot of what we talked about in here, we're going over and like, this is like, this is what this masterclass is basically the segue for manifest her. Like we're diving into it deeply we are like going into how to manifest all the things, not just money, like the money, the money program is just focused on money for two weeks. This is like how to manifest all the things, how to be the cre creatress of your life, like how to be in alignment with so many different things energetically and be able to alchemize things as they happen and align and upgrade yourself to, to different levels, to different, to new versions of yourself, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so this is my next like bigger program. This starts in August. It doesn't have an exact start date yet, but it will be in the beginning of August, like the first week in August. So, uh, so that is the next program. <clears throat> um, again, of the feminine way to manifesting um, as well, because I, again, I feel like the feminine energy is the way to manifest. Like, yes, there's masculine energy. Both are involved, right? At, at all times, but when you get the, the, the way that we're not comfortable with and manifesting is the feminine way. And that's why we turn around the car before we can see it. That's why we freak out when there's turbulence because we're in our unbalanced feminine. We're not trusting, we're not in the flow. And so manifest her is like really learning how to be in the flow and to stay plugged into your manifestations and what to do if, if things start feeling turbulent. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna, this is how to integrate all the pieces. This is where you get help with everything, right? Um, the whole process. But Manifest Her will likely be two, like two months. Now, this is a little bit more geared towards women. Uh, like even the, you know, the, the words on here and, and stuff like that are a little bit more geared towards women. It's not that men can't join this, but it may be at times a little weird if you're a man and you join this, just because it is like the way that I will be speaking is towards women. Like, because I, I do believe that like both, obviously both women and men 
can manifest. Like that's not an issue. But I believe that women, when tapped into their feminine, their healthy feminine, are literally fucking like just <laughs> they are literally creatresses. Like you literally become the alchemist of fucking everything. And it's like your body is a portal for bringing things in and and letting things go. And it just, you become, you become things like it, it's just, it's insane. So that's manifest her. Uh, the price for this is 400 because this is a longer program. It's probably going to be like two months. And by the way, like I said, with the money program, the pricing will go up on these. I'm keeping these low for those of you that joined the master class. So, um, but they will probably go up on these, um, before the programs start, but for right now, manifest her, is 400. Actually, no, what am I thinking? They will go up when I announce these to the public, which will be, the money program may not go up that much, like three, it'll probably be like 333 when, by the time I announce them to the public, but manifest her will probably go up because this is like a two month program. So, but right now there's a payment plan uh, for those that want to join manifest her. Um, so if that's easier for you. So that's manifest her. And this is the big daddy of <laughs> all the programs. Uh, so this is the upgrade mastermind. This is where you be it all, you do it all, you have it all, you hold it all. Like this is the hive of the rest of the program. So this is where, like, if you get the upgrade, this is where you get everything that I do. Everything I've already done this year and everything that I will do for the rest of 2022. So you get all the programs I just named off. If you weren't in goddess mode, you get goddess mode. And then the master classes I've done, um, the energetic sessions I've done, and then anything else I do for the rest of the year, which I do have a lot more planned. So there will be a lot more coming. It'll probably be around either one, either a program or a master class at least once a month. So there are a lot of things coming. So this is like the full package where if you, if you get this, you get everything, right? So, but not only that, not only that, with Upgrade, it's its own thing too. So not only are you getting all the other programs, you're also getting, it, like Upgrade is its own program, so to say. It's a little more than a program. It's a little more about group coaching. So, but it's a very limited, like limited spaces are available with Upgrade because since it is group coaching. Uh, so I, I wanna say there are seven spaces left because I let Goddess Mode sign up for the programs before I put them public. So that's why there are people already in these. But um, so upgrade, there are seven spaces left. We started with 10. Um, so if you want to join upgrade, just so you know that there are only seven spaces left because it is group coaching. And I want to be able to, you know, have like everybody have an experience and not it not just being like a ton of people that never get a turn to really like talk or whatever. So, so yeah, so you get all the programs plus group coaching, plus a like really intimate private group chat uh, where you can message daily. I will check in daily to talk about different things. Um, but this is where, this is like the ultimate quantum upgrade. This is where you get anything, anything like that I come out with, you get, but also I'll be doing like uh, voice transmissions, probably like weekly to where like you'll, so like basically you're like, you're going along with me basically. Like I'm taking you with me um, wherever I go. <laughs> so if I have, you know, like if I start getting into something new, if I start learning about something new, if I'm adding on to what I already know, upgrade's gonna be like the first, the first one to know about it, right? So um, anyway. But this is where you get to kind of lean back and not have to worry about anything because you're in for whatever the rest of the year. And yeah, we go over everything. So whatever I don't go over in my other programs, like we go over and upgrade. So this is basically the packages of all packages. Our first group coaching call starts on July 14th. So, um, and if there are still spaces left after that, then whoever signs up will get access because the group coaching calls will be like, probably, you know, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour of like a, a transmission of me speaking about different things. And then, you know, because I am going to be giving guidance through upgrade as well. And then the other hour is going to be, you know, anybody that wants to talk about something they're dealing with or struggling or whatever the, the coaching. So this is a mastermind. It's what it's called. Um, if you pay in full, it's a thousand and eleven dollars just because it's the full package. 
uh, but there are payment plans available. Now, all of these payment plans on any of my programs, um, if you do a payment plan, you do have to continue to pay. Like they are not, you can't cancel them. They're not, you, there's no cancellation option. So just keep that in mind. But the, I hate how it does this. The three payment plan options are uh, from, I have to bring it up on my phone. It's trying to make me sign in. Here we go. So one of them is two seventy seven per month. Um, and that's probably for like four or five months, I would assume. Okay, here we go. So two seventy seven per month for four months, three seventy seventy seven for three months and, and this is per month, by the way, or 5.55 for uh, times two, so for two months. So because upgrades the big dog, the big daddy of all of them, <laughs> then uh, that's why it's more, because you're getting access for everything. And if you add it up, just all the programs and classes and stuff that I have now, you'd be paying a lot more. Um, so this is actually like a cut down price. So um, and even, let me see really quick. So if you bought, let's say you get the money program and manifest her, you're already paying between seven and $800. And that's just at the price that it is right now, not at the final price. So, um, so yeah, but when you sign up, like I said, if you're not in goddess mode, you get the whole goddess mode program that we're almost done with, which was fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, the best program that I've actually done so far to date. Um, you're welcome, Madeline. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, uh, so yeah, so those are the next programs that I have right now. Uh, so upgrade is the full experience and group coaching manifest her is quantum manifestation, manifesting, like closing the timelines, all of that. Um, and manifesting fast learning all the things it'll likely be a month and a half to two months. Uh, the money codes program is the closest one so money codes and upgrades start the soonest they start in July. Uh, and manifest her starts in August so um, you have a little bit of time on manifest her to join if you're thinking about it, but the upgrade and money codes program start within like the next week and a half to two weeks so. And the, the pricing will go up on money codes when I announce it to the public. If you're in the Quantum She Facebook group, I will give you reminders and heads up before I announce it, anything to the public, um, to the official public outside of this masterclass um, for when the prices will change. So thank you. Thank you, Christy. I'm super, super excited. And like, I just, I can't even get over that I made this branding right here. Like this is my Aquarian moon came all the way out. And I was just like, fuck yes. Like that is the vibe. <laughs> just been like killing it with branding lately. It's like a, a muse comes out of me and I'm just like, yes. So anyway, so those are the programs. They are available on my website. I will put the link uh, here in the, in the thing, the thing thing, the chat. So you can find them. And I will also be posting the link with the replay post. So those that are watching the replay can also find them. Thanks. Thanks to those of you that uh, stayed to check out the programs. I really appreciate it. And thanks for all of you guys for joining this masterclass. I really appreciate it. And, and that was kind of like, it was funny because I wasn't 100% for sure what I was going to talk about with this masterclass when I first posted it. I just felt it. It was just like that feminine pull and just like going into the dark and just being like, okay, I feel the pull. So here, here's a masterclass that's coming, but I don't 100% have it all figured out yet. And, uh, and then I realized like, oh, because I don't know, I didn't tell anybody else what it was about. I just kind of threw it out there, you know, like, and people were just signing up like left and right, left and right. And that's what happens when you trust your callings like that, like that's the perfect example of alignment and like being aligned in the energy and like trusting your callings, trusting your desires, because you may not have it all figured out. You may not know why it's all there, but 
it, it, you will eventually, right? Like things become clear as you go. And yeah, and then all the, the pieces started becoming clear as the masterclass like got closer, like last week. And, and uh, even this week, I started getting kind of like the final pieces. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so fucking powerful. And, um, and I could feel it. I could feel it when I felt called to do it, but I, like I had to trust. And then I like simultaneously without realizing it kind of made other people have to trust because I, it was kind of a mystery. It was just like, Hey, here's the branding. <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but here's the branding and people were like signing up. So it, it's just really cool how that all worked out. But, um, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. I'm so, so happy that this was like so impactful. That's exactly what I wanted. Like <laughs> transformations uh, in, in the blink of an eye, right? Like shifts in the blink of the eye, like looking at what's possible instead of the lack, right? Like that's the big thing. So, but there will be a replay available. I'll be posting it first in the Quantum She Facebook group and then sending it out to those that signed up via email. Uh, so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you all for coming. I really, really, truly appreciate you. Uh, and hopefully I will see some of you in the upcoming programs, but if not, then I will likely see you soon on social media. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. Bye. Have a good night.